we realize as we get older, our places and our unique uh, issues with dealing with OCD ch have, have changed. And we just felt that um, we needed a safe place. Myself and a bunch of, of my colleagues um, started uh, working together. Our group has, has, uh, has grown. We have an open group, so everyone's invited to join, family members, people with lived experience. In terms of supporting that and allowing us to put a space together where we can put evidence-based resources, we can sort of foster some discussions about difficult issues or, or common themes that we're all dealing with. Started uh, noticing just, yeah, anecdotally in my work, how often the two were um, kind of overlapping with one another and um, also just felt um, just, a, yeah, a, a large vacuum in terms of support um, offered to both um, kind of both clinical areas. Um, and connected with Josh and he expressed like a similar, like, yeah, like I, you know, I agree there, there isn't really that um, formalized support out there. Our goal is really to raise awareness about the intersection of OCD and eating disorders, or also individuals who have OCD and food challenges or food fears. Um, and it's really with the hope of increasing the number of professionals who are skilled at effectively treating and then supporting individuals experiencing these um, comorbidities. We started to toy with this idea of like, what if we created a group where, you know, other people similarly interested would come together and participate in in this uh, like space. It's it's very chill. Um, sometimes we play games, sometimes we just talk. But really, the, the point is just have a space for young adults with OCD to come together and sometimes we talk about what it's like to have OCD as a young adult and uh, challenges that we face together. And sometimes we just don't want to talk about OCD, so we don't talk about OCD. One thing we're working on is um, a sheet for therapists who aren't familiar with chronic illness. Um, and then we're going to start something for doctors who aren't familiar with OCD. Creating art, um, I believe that it's actually one of the ways to really bring advocacy and action. What I hear mostly in creative spaces from adults is like, I'm not an artist or I'm not creative enough, um, which whoever told you that when you were a kid or somewhere along the way is wrong. There are lots of different ways that OCD and trauma can intersect. And so um, we saw this need and, and knew that we needed to make this group available for folks. We are trying to develop ways so folks can kind of assess either their kind of their ACT knowledge or their OCD knowledge and, and where they fall so that we can guide them to uh, trainings that would help um, kind of fill in that gap for them. The whole point of the SIG was to really make a space for, like it says, therapists and trainees with OCD and related disorders um, to connect, support each other, share resources, build community, all of those things. Any kind of person who works in a, prof a people profession, so social workers, nurses, medical professionals, clergy, educators, any, we have such a variety, beautiful diversity of um, professions in our group.